Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We're back in Starvation Mod, and uh, I'm hunting down this damn. I, I swear to God, what a pain in the ass this thing is. Thank you so much for your service. I appreciate it very much. Yes, we're actually hunting down some food, of course, so I'm going to have to stockpile a little more. I don't have very much of it, but he's been irritating the shit out of me for a while. But we're running around trying to tell me what to do. <laughs> we're building our Gemini base. It's quite large. It's huge. And I do appreciate you guys spending time with me and checking this out. If you guys also check out the Patreon server and check out what we built, which is just about most one of the most amazing bases I've ever seen, go and check it out. Ooh, there could have been some bacon and eggs there, brother. You got some eggs in that sucker. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There you go. Give it to me. Yes. I need eggs. I need eggs big time. We need to get ourselves rolling. We need to get going. We have uh, well, we've got a lot of work done. And only one of you have actually realized I made a mistake. Uh, SC uh, realized that I, I made a mistake and I actually had to redo it all so I worked on it and uh, I'm not gonna put that blinding light on it. It is too bright and yes I actually forgot to put those little bars there, the poles all going down here and I forgot about it and that was my fault. So I actually had to take that all apart and I went through as you can see my pickaxe is needing some TLC. I did do some work on the side putting down some of the templates up and running but I'm gonna go ahead to head back and get some more trusses. And that is something we're going to need. We're going to drive this baby up to our little fort right now. Because I don't have time to dig our way, uh, at least a tunnel to here yet. Um, I'm going to turn you off because you're way too bright. I wish we can choose other kinds. But yes, we're at the other base right now. And as you can see, I'm starting to get cold. We're going to have to put our jacket on. Vice versa all the time. We don't want to get wet and cold and freezing my butt off. We're going to have to get ourselves moving and getting at least the stuff down. Oh, okay, there's a hole. I'm going to go make some more trusses and stuff. I did test out the trusses in between. I had one zombie show up and I put the trusses down to double check to see if I can shoot through them. And we can. We can shoot perfectly through them. I know I've tested before, but I had to double check. It's been a long time since I've done it. So, yes, that is going to be a problem. I only have one egg. Wow. All right. We're going to take eight meat. We're going to make some charred crappy meat for now. Just, uh, just no no choice. Is it grilled? Grilled's better, isn't it? I don't remember which one is better. I don't, I don't know. This one, I think, takes up less less problems yeah i think so anyways let's do that we can't make bacon and eggs i need two eggs but that's okay we'll we'll find some more as we go along i have not been very vigilant on it so let's just make up some meat here it's not a big deal and uh, we'll put you over here we are going to eat a couple of bacon eggs i have left wow i it was time it, it, it was time to eat <laughs> we were we were kind of starving that is okay. Uh, we'll eat two of those and we'll eat the rest of these. Not as if we were worrying about our wellness. It's doing quite well. Almost at 170. There we go, 170. We just did 170, finally. So we're going to eat from here, of course. We'll keep the crappy meat. I like to be 100. I don't care if it's costing me a little bit. We'll let that roll through. And we're now thirsty as heck. So now we're going to drink up. We are going to have to get some more water and stuff. I keep on saying that. I keep on forgetting. But we have tons here. I don't really worry about it until I get down to about, right about here. We should be plenty fine. Plenty fine. So Gemini base, there's a lot to do. We're going to put trusses up. We're going to do a lot of building today. And hopefully some killing. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to see some Zs that come around and say hi. It's been a long time. They are very, very lonely. Uh, well, I'm very lonely. They, they don't seem to really want to bother with us anymore. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, we'll move this out of here. And uh, I have a lot of... Steel. Okay, we, uh, we can take some of you. And some of you to make sure this is all nice and full. And what are we doing here? There's no more fuel. I've been it's been a while since I've been here. Well, not a whole lot, but enough for that burnt out. Here we go, turn you on, and we're gonna do some more cement. Yeah, 300 is 300. We'll drop some more in here to let this go. There's zero stone left. So let that cook itself up here. Same thing, same problem. And we're going to drag you into here and start to fire up. And we're going to drop some more iron into you. And we've been mining, like I mentioned, we've seen it before all the way back. There is a lot of digging going on, but I haven't had very much time to dig oh, recently. I've been pretty much doing all that stuff. So yeah, that's going to happen. That's going to happen. All right, metal trusses. Um, how many can I make now? 196. I'm going to do 100 of these and I'm going to make about just 50 of these for now. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Let's let's just do that. I don't want to over, you know, I don't want to overburden or waste 
Uh, four steel, now a 463. We're going to take that with us back to their base. Uh, we have 50 trusses on us. Uh, I do have some rebar here. Is this good? We have more than enough. Uh, too much, maybe. It's okay. We can always put it back in a forge with any issues. And I want you. Actually, I don't think I have enough stone, do I? I, I pretty much went through all of it. It's okay. Um, let's see what we can pull. We'll put a thousand of you. There we go. And open you up. And I have a lot of concrete mix. Now, that's the only thing we do have a lot of. Thankfully, that is something. All right, I'm actually going to make some bullet tip here. I just realized that I'm really low on that. I'm going to grab out the iron over here and grab whatever we have. A Vled and dropper in here. We don't have a tremendous amount. We have enough to make some bullets, but again, I, my bad. My bad. Before next sword, we do have quite a bit. Actually, even before next sword. Next one after that, most likely. We have uh, quite a bit here. I'm going to make ourselves uh, some 762 rounds. And we made the gunpowder inside that workstation over here, which is a science station. And we had it done uh, about two episodes ago. And that's good. I forgot about it. But now it's time for us to... Not here. Right here. This is a weapons workbench over there. And this is the one I really want. Ammo workbench. And we're going to get ourselves rolling. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check to see how much I can make out of this. 74. It's going to give us quite a bit, though. 74, 74. Okay, let's do... 25 of the U. That gives quite a bit. And actually, we're going to make 762 rounds here, 49. I'm going to wait for this to kind of finish up so that way I can get the points while this is going through. I'm going to get the skill points. And then I'll meet you guys back at the base. Kind of getting assaulted that there's no zombies coming around anymore. Uh, even with all our forges going on over there, I can't believe there's nothing going on. It's very, very disappointing. Uh, so we'll go around here. I'll show you what I've been doing. Somewhere 7.62 or is that 9? Oh, that's 9 millimeter. Okay, that's all good. Uh, we're going to pick up all the other stuff we have here. Da -da. Now we have uh, picked up some more metal casings. I also separated the 7.62 by half and uh, we had about 500 ounces by half and I brought whatever left over on top. Same thing for a 10 millimeter, uh, which is just fine. It is going to roll just great. We're going to take those concrete poles. We're going to take the other metal trussings. I took some out of the actual forge before. Oh, I didn't realize I... T oh, yeah, sure. I tested that out. Hmm. So, okay, we'll pick that up. Um, arrow slits just in case. I don't think I'm going to need them. And we're going to get rid of you because I don't want to overdo it. I don't think we're able to create everything I want to do right away. But we should be able to get a lot more done than I expected. Uh, we're going to take you with us too. And I have enough wood, right? Yes. Let's just make sure. It goes really quick. I'm telling you now. Super quick. All right, looking pretty cool. So this is the final here. We're going to be merging these two together. I didn't want to bore you guys too much with that. And over here, same thing is going to be coming over here. Trusses will be on the outside skirts of these. So I had to make a little modification and cut this open so that way the trusses fit right into that. Uh, right here, we're going to keep the same way, the way it is, nice and solid on the bridges. But these ones here are all going to be trusses across. That's why I need so many of them. It is going to be imperative for us to get done. But we also have this truss that's missing right here. So I didn't want to forget it. I did not want to forget this one. All right, let's open this up. Let's drop you. I did bring the other ones too, did I? Yes, rebar frames. Cool. Let's get up here and check out to see what we have been up to up high. Now, I did put up the other drawbridge, just like we did in the other one. So if you're curious to see how that's done, go check out the other episodes. I did place this sucker back down here. It'd be nice to put torches in here, but as you can see, look at the blocks they fit in there. These are kind of invisible. So when you're building, just don't forget that you build from the center, these points, and that you put on the side, or else you're not going to have it hold. It's going to drop every time. It's going to drive you nuts. Absolutely nuts. So yeah, I started a couple of these just to make sure you guys see what the other side is going to look like. Now it's going to go up a little higher, of course. So we're going to make sure that we're going to match out pretty much the build of this. We're going to bring this back up again onto this side here. And we're going to do this too high, if I'm not mistaken. And we should be just fine. Because I don't want I want to be able to walk through here. I think this is gonna be enough for a door. I want to do those sliding garage doors through here. I think that's where we're gonna end up doing. Alright, let's pull this off. Let's get the trusses going that I want, the look, the feel of what it's gonna look like. And we can actually see a little better in the trusses here on the bottom. Have red wood on the bottom of them to create an effect, almost like painted. It's been very, very incredible fun to do. So we've been trying to test it out and see if it would work. And like I mentioned before, I did test out these trusses and they do work on Z's. And like I said, I had to dig out one extra corner on the other side. And this one I should have actually dug out too. I didn't do it. 
Oh, I did do it. Oh, no, it's here. Okay, there's a little fold here. You see a little hole? So I cut out one of the blocks here to make sure that I can actually place these trusses in here. So they're nice and solid. They will work very well. They're not as strong, of course, as the iron bar is, but they do look nice, and I want this for the build. So uh, this is a 1,000. I think the iron bar is 1,005 for two, something like that. I think it's two. Been a while. Um, this one I might have to dig out here to get the effect. No. Okay, it just looks like that, but no, it isn't. I did do it. Okay. All right, let's pick up all these suckers here. It's going to give a nice effect to it. It's going to give it a little more of... Well, color's going to pop out, first of all. That's what's the main goal, really. I want to make sure I don't need a light. Uh, the main goal is really just to make this pop out. And these can't be picked up afterwards once you place them. So be careful. They are... Uh, well, it'll take you some time to knock out. And you want to avoid it wasting. These cost a fortune to make. But again, for looks... It's going to be perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And here we're actually going to solidify these blocks here. There we go. Perfect. And these ones we can pick back up. So we're going to have a lot of rebar. Probably end up putting some of it. Well, actually, no, we need it for the wraps anyways. We need it for the wraps. That is going to be a must. Now, these are also going to be bridges on this side here. Now, that's a whole thing is that I want to... It's going to be a pain for me, I know. But I'm going to be putting those trusses here, too, at the end. I am going. To, I want to leave them. But anyways, it's going to be a long story. But I've made a new decision that the trusses will look nice on the side. And that is something we're going to have to work on. It may not make it for this hoard. There'll be some modifications to the base and redone some stuff. It's not a big deal. Just the length that it's going to take to knock out. It already took me forever to knock out those blocks over there to make this point oh my god what a disaster that was you're trying to knock one out the other one would fall on top of it and it just became i had to put up a whole bunch of different things to hold the actual uh, other points up or else it would just fall apart real pain in the ass it's all good it's all good neighborhood we're having fun we're doing good it's so quiet i feel like there's actually no zombies anymore i think we've killed them all there's we've we've actually done a better job than a military kid the military could not do what we have done. Hell, they couldn't build themselves proper bases. They came in with tents. All right, over here. I'm not too sure how far I'm going to go with those as of yet. I think actually I'm going to... No, I do know. I'm going to go further out from here because these are going to go across here all the way around. Yes, 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 yes. That's what they're going to do. And they might come out here. I'm not too sure 100% yet. So I'm not going to place those down so we don't waste any more materials. I cannot afford. Well, I can afford it, but I don't want to have to do it. If you guys understand, it's just too much work already. And I don't have anybody there in a forge. I am responsible for the forge. My forge is further away. I would like to build one in here and start finishing up the base here too. And having its own forges and its own materials. So that way we can call in some you know, screamers and stuff while we're building. That'd be kind of nice. I'll bring that around here. Oh, it's going to look sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking that. Actually, I should be curing this up right away. Let's put these in. Now, there is a way for us to do it, if I'm not mistaken, starting from this one here. Which one is it that it starts with? I know it starts off with one. Is it this one? Yeah, it starts off with this one. Boom. Boom. See? So if I go find out the one it starts with, it resolved me having to go around in circles of this thing. I just click one, and there we go. So I can rotate it nice and easy. And it saved me a lot of headaches figuring that out. Perfect. Ah, not perfect. I hate how it jitters off of the block, but it's okay. They're small blocks. Now, here's actually the thing. It's 3,000 right now. So what I do is, I yes, I, if I make a little mistakes, I do do this because time is worth more than the actual concrete for me. And this brings it down 1500 and it makes my job a lot easier so that's what i did over there i had a couple of blocks that were pretty smoothed out they were still being upgraded and i took them out first and then i took them down to the regular blocks like this i knocked them out if you knock this you'll end up with a block like well this first tier and what i did is i ended up put, upgrading it and knocking it out to make it as quick as possible that way you don't utilize well time time is a factor all right let's do that this will look really cool. Good height, I think. This has ended up being perfect height. Block-wise, I, I like the view we have. You, you. Excellent, Smithers. Excellent. 
All right, let's get ourselves going on this side here and uh, finalizing this portion. Perfecto. Take you off, take you off. Okay, here. Try and make less mistakes as possible. Now you guys know why I didn't put the gates up all the way up. These things here. There was rationale behind all what I was doing. And sometimes I make little mistakes, and that's not a big deal. You know what? You you gotta make the mistakes to learn how to build. And that's just you know my theory in life is that how else biggest mistakes in life you can actually learn from them. So why not? Why not do it? That way my next builds I'll learn a little more and I'll have this in mind. Again, I love the look of these trusses. They're absolutely stunning. Really well worthwhile a place. I'll start with a truss and a bomb with a redwood and bam, these trusses now this base will pop out. It won't be just one single color. Like I mentioned, I'm going to have to take all these apart here, which is going to be a pain. I'm not going to deny it. It's going to be a big pain, especially that it's coming into about here off this edge here. So it's right about this one. So this is what exactly I did last time. I'm going to show you guys this because some people have always asked me in common fields and in Discord. How am I doing this so quick to take off blocks? And again, maybe you missed this portion, maybe you're brand new, but this is the best way of doing it. And again, a 600 pickaxe works like a charm. So yeah, it's really a lot of patience sitting there, pretty much. Gives me time to think while I'm doing this. And if I grab like this, just upgrade this sucker back up. And now I cut my time down in half, which is beautiful. Again, if I had a better pickaxe where I didn't have this kind of problem right now, this wouldn't be you know, this would be going down a whole lot faster, which I do need to upgrade my pickaxe. And I'm not going to waste more than just these two blocks here. I just want to make sure you guys are aware that we're going to do this. And then we're going to go finish up the rest of this base and secure it. We're also going to put down some more log spikes, but uh, we're actually going to be utilizing the actual spikes made. We're going to make them. I'll show you guys the iron spikes. Here we go. Again, we just upgrade the sucker up and bam, save you time. Again, a better pickaxe fully up, you know, better than it is right now ah oh, shit and look at the stability option i love stability in this game it's okay it was gonna happen anyways that resolved a shitload of issues for me <laughs> i'm actually kind of happy that happened if the other one could do the same oh wow oh i had a broken bone do i have a actually that's that was the fastest way you can possibly do that just lose some of the materials it's all good Get back some stone. Do I have anything here to heal myself? I do I have a splint. Way to go, brother. Seems like the best way of jumping off these things is crouched. For some reason, when I land, I seem to be in perfect shape. So, yeah. I don't know if that's a thing. Beautiful. Now, I want to put hay bells here to make it a little bit easier for us to kind of jump down from these bases. But then I was like, oh, no. Not, I don't want to go through that. I just, I don't want to do this. Um... It didn't look nice. It just wouldn't look nice. Hay bells are great. They, they're really resourceful, but they look like shit. There's no way of saying it nicely. They, just, they look like crap. All right. What are you doing? Well, I'm placing this down here to give stability. And you're going to need it to build all these portions. And here we're going to actually place three bar frames here. All the way across. And I was talking to you before about the... Bridge, this is the most important part of it right now. You see, look, it just goes right in. So this is your stability point. This is your strong point. There we go. And we're going to put the rebars back in here. I should really just move the hunting knife so I don't have to rotate everything. Okay, we can go down from here. We'll place you. And voila. So we're going to leave this cure. I'm not going to take this down just in case uh, the stability-wise. It should be okay. It really should be, but I'm, I'm not going to do it. I, I just feel like there's there's going to be a problem. But I'll do the same thing here tonight. So I'll take this apart, and most likely it'll fall apart like that. Destroy it, which is just fine, which is just fine. All right, let's get ourselves going. I'm going to put out... Well, before I do that, I'm actually going to have to start digging out some portions all the way across here. This is a hard part. I want to dig... A, I should have built this one, two frames in. I want to dig a hole here, but that's not going to happen. This is going to take for 
ever to dig a hole all the way across here. It would give me my stone I need uh, overall, but with a better pickaxe, I might just do it. I might, 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 might. But for now, we're going to have to leave it be. And uh, we're going to take our... This. And wait a second. I'm going to place anything I grabbed here, like stone, sand. I don't know why I brought the gunpowder. Forgot about it. And casings. Wow. We'll just leave you right in the middle here where the drawbridge is. And we'll place that here so I remember to take it back with me. I don't want to forget about this. And we're all good here. So hunting knife's going to stay up here. We got all our stuff. We're going to build, take this. And uh, spikes. Here. A scrap iron spikes. How many can I make? 125 of them. Let's roll it. Let's roll it. Let's, let's get her built. Let's get her built. So this is going to look really cool. go now this is one problem here i just realized i just made while looking at that i, I shouldn't have gone one deep on these ones these ones will have a drawbridge on this side too maybe not i don't know i just wanted to look equal and have access in and out that way i don't have to turn my bike around perfecto yes yeah, so you're not gonna upgrade these right away we're not going towards that we are going to upgrade these ones on the side here like this these ones uh, we're going to upgrade those on the side here with metal too just to make them look nicer but like i said those are finale kind of things we have to worry about right now we need to solidify our fencing area to make sure we're nice and safe and that also make our drawbridge or well that portion over there to actually access our drawbridge would be nice at least one of them would be really cool that way we can worry about the second one after the horde i think i got everything else here cured i forgot one there i did it last time and yes, if you're wondering what that is, stick it up in here. That's actually a keypad uh, for these actual things, for the actual drawbridge. And here is what I was starting to build on. As you can see, this is in the way. So I was taking this apart one at a time. One at a time. I'm not joking. It was a real pain, but... And uh, yeah, I do it in between while I'm waiting for curing or I'm thinking. Across here, I'm just going to smack it up. Now, if you missed this, we dismantled this building with one single chest. And last episode, it was a lot of fun. I, I love demolition, but this is definitely in the way and we're going to have to let it go and get rid of it all. But I'll do most of this off camera because it is friggin' boring, but I did, I was managed to get a lot of wood out of this sucker. As you can see, you're pulling out quite a bit, 16 of them at a time. So you can refill yourself back up in supplies without having to go out for trees, which is really sweet. All right, 102 Fahrenheit. Thank you for reminding me. I'll have to tear off my jacket. I'll take a little drink. Chill out a bit. Here we go. You're doing much better. Okay, so this is 110%. This will work. This will actually fall down onto here and give us the ability to get ourselves in here. The only problem is to bring this down uh, without a, a, a heavy slant, I guess you say, a super heavy slant. I don't want it to be too crazy. And of course, the height I put it at can be a little too crazy. All right, let's go over here. We're going to bring this across. I'm just going to show you guys how I'm going to do this. And I won't do it all in front of you guys. I'm sure most of you get bored to tears watching this. But it is important for base building and structural. Again, it's already a grade, a hell of a grade there to go down. I'm just going to let them kind of walk their way up it. It's not a big deal. They're not going to be able to access the base anyways. So we're gonna actually going to seal this off and make this as easy as possible. Now, the inside of this will have the ability right here to access if they want to i guess so you don't hit the sides but they shouldn't they should be going straight for us and i don't think i'm worried about that too much i'm gonna test it out on this ramp let's see how bad i know i've had them hit it up before and have issues but it's not a big deal it's not a big deal all right so we're finalizing this baby up let's get some coolness into this and the final ones here perfect didn't want you guys have to go and watch every last bit especially when i'm thinking things through all right, we're going to go up here, and bam, we arrive here. We click on our little access, and perfect. That is perfect. Excellent. All right, so now the hard part, actually the fun part. The one that's going to hurt me the most is watching how much I'm going to waste here. 
of materials. This is where the rubble next door to us with the wood, as you can see the wood's going down 10 a shot. That is a fortune. Perfect. And again, structurally, five across. You want to have some structure into this as you're building this, without a doubt. Don't think you can just place a little bit here or there. There is some weight in this. Anything we're missing will just go onto the top and finish. There we go. So much fun. Should probably make a little window here too. I'm <laughs> just joking. All right, put that down. Again, all about structure, structure, structure. Just to make sure. Just to make sure. I guess I don't really need this one, but otherwise, so be it. There we go. Need room to make sure I'm getting everything. Now you're saying you're missing a couple. Yeah, we'll get them from the outside. Not a big deal. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, that works. Beautiful. Beautiful. Did I forget some of those? I think I saw some more that are not completed here. On top, this one. Yes. Yes. All right. That's hauled out nicely. All right. Let's work on the sides. We can see everything we're missing. Again, the weight's all pushed downwards, so you don't have to worry about it. And some of these die. That's that's good enough. That's gonna give you enough structure. All right, I, I made the decision. It's good. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna put redwood on the bottom of these suckers. And why? Because I'm gonna put this structure together a little differently than I expected. I'm actually gonna bring the red into this too. Uh, so yeah, that is gonna be something we're gonna have to do. And I'm gonna have to dismantle all these portions here. Uh, I hope they're gonna hold. They should hold anyways. It's going downwards. It's good. It's all good. I'm gonna take apart all these uh, extra blocks. Again, mistakes made. You don't see until you actually make it, make it. But that is definitely a big problem. I can't have this this way when I know exactly what I want now. We're gonna put down redwood blocks on here. And we're gonna be doing, I'll be showing you guys this in a second. Let me just go through breaking those apart. That we're not bored to death, and we'll be back. Okay, I don't have a whole lot of redwood left, so I'm gonna have to go and get some more part of life. Uh, but the idea is there, and I'm gonna have to do it anyways. We have the metal trussings building built on the other side, and that is fine. I still have to get more metal trussings from the forge uh, to get this done properly, but that's gonna be okay. The middle part's gonna stay the same. We're gonna be bringing this down here. I just wanna show you guys one side, maybe. Maybe I'll be able to show you properly why i'm doing this and hopefully by next time we'll have enough i'll go out and do all that leg work here like that yes yes and here another block keeping that red color in here perfect uh here i'm gonna have a problem am i no because i'm gonna have to put one here anyways okay cool Yes. Okay. I just want to waste any. I only have 10 left. So I'm trying to make sure we don't waste any of them. Oh, yeah. That's going to give the exact effect I, I wanted. Exactly. It's perfect. And I'm going to grab you. Excellent, Smithus. Actually, I have quite more than I thought I did. Uh, we're going to have to dig that one out. Thankfully, it didn't cure before I thought of it because that would just been... Forget about it. I, I, I can't do it. <laughs> don't have time to do this. With this cure, it is pretty simple to do. Yes. I can't believe I have enough. Just 10, really? Here. Here. Okay, some more trussings all the way across from here. When cured up, this is going to look really nice. Now, the middle part will stay the same. And there we go. Now, the bottom block here is going to have to change. 
These two are going to have to change those up. But I'll do that afterwards. Not a big deal, but I'm definitely going to like this one. It's cured up. The white is going to show up and it's going to pop this really nicely. When we have the same thing on the other side here, when we actually do like the drawbridge on the other side, it'll be spectacular. Oh, yeah. I like it. It's like Hot Wheels style. Pretty. Pretty. All right, guys. We're going to leave the episode here. So, yeah. Drawbridge complete almost. I can't wait to see her dry it up and see what we can do. Wait a second. These two blocks are not done. Why is that showing up as... Did I forget those two? I think I'll look further. Almost completed. But thankfully, double checking my work. Always looking again. Two more blocks left. I can't believe that's exactly what I needed. Oh boy. Perfect. Now it's perfect. I know I said it before, but I did mean it. Now that makes more sense. Perfect, perfect. All right, guys. So we're going to leave the episode here. Again, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate all of your support. If you like this and you like the build that's going on, hit the like button. It's always appreciated. Because you got your game edge. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.